Fabia, how are you doing? Hi, Victoria. I'm doing great. And you? Not too bad. The last time we talked, it was for one years of uh, Talking Heart celebration, and we had 500 subscribers in April. Mm -hmm. And right now we're at just over 550. That's awesome. So thank you for everyone that has subscribed to our YouTube channel and watches and enjoys the Talking Hubs interviews. Yeah, it's not a very big number, but it, every single one of them means a lot to us, especially when you consider that we are all working in the project with a full time job on top of this. So mm -hmm. it's very exciting to see that our content are being appreciated. Yes, some of our viewers just tell us that they're having trouble keeping up with our um, content because we have a lot of interviews that range anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, which is quite a bit. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing, as you notice, is we're slowing down our release by a little bit. So if you want to catch up with all the different videos and interviews that we have been releasing at Talking Hubs during this year, we have created for you different playlists that you can check in YouTube under Harp Connections, Harp Hub, Harp Toolbox, Music for the Harp, or Harp Focus. We're also going to be introducing a new feature called Harp Finder. If you want to uh, know when it's going to come out, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified as soon as the video is out. Uh, another reason to create that little bit of a break is that we want to avoid burnout in our team. Heather Downey, she came back for a half focused chat with us um, just a little while ago. And in her Facebook group, How to Harp, which she shared a lot of tips and tricks and advices and also live chats on different topics uh, relating to How to Harp. Uh, she talked about five ways to avoid burnout. So I thought uh, it's timely that we take advantage of her advice and uh, avoid burnout here in our team by having a little bit of a a break for us. And if you are not familiar with her group, I'm going to put a link to the video description for you to check it out. Mm -hmm. And if you're not on Facebook, she also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. And you can get a little slice of the things that she share in the Facebook group through the uh, newsletter. So this past weekend was the random acts of harping. And I happened to be going to a dinner event. So I showed up with my harp and surprised a couple of people with some harp music, mm -hmm. which was really fun. Interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting. And what kind of harp adventures have you signed up yourself for? Yeah, well, so next week I will play a little bit the harp together with one choir in the Italian part of Switzerland. So that's going to be yeah. my first concert after I start learning. And most important, the, the following weekend between 16th and 19th of July, I will attend for the first time the 41st edition of the Harfen Treffen. It's a harp meeting that they organize in Germany every, every summer. And it's in the castle of Freusburg. And I'm very excited because three of the presenters are uh, Talking Harps guests. So hopefully I will be able to meet uh, Ralph Kliemann, Nadia Birkenstock, and Adriano Sanginetto, amongst all the presenters that will be and, and all the audience that will be there to share a weekend of, of harp and music. That's so exciting. This is your first yes. uh, harp festival, isn't it, in person? Yes, it is. It's it. So I'm really, I'm really already nervous thinking how it's going to be. And, but it's, it's going to be fun for sure. Yeah. And is there still spaces available for those who are interested in checking it out? So I think the registration is still open. There are still places available. And it's in the northwest of Germany, near Cologne. So you can still register for, for a full weekend, four days of, of, of harp. We'll put a link to the festival in the video description. And speaking of half festival, our team member Anna Dunwoody have been working tirelessly to put together Half Fest New Zealand 2023, which we have mentioned quite a number of times. And the early bird ticket sales day is coming up very soon. So Talking Harp is very mm -hmm. uh, delighted to support the festival, uh, doing what we know best, which is to interview the guests. So you have already met Ailey, Josh, 
and Adriano in our channel and we'll be talking to the other guests and presenter in the coming months so that you'll have an opportunity to get to know them leading up to the festival and on top of that i'm also very excited to tell you that if you really enjoy agiano's tune that he wrote for us for our birthday which is the italian word for horizon i'm not even going to try <laughs> do you want to try <laughs> My Italian is not the best one, but I think it's Horizonte. You will have the opportunity to verify with Adriano when you see him in the festival. So that will be your that will be your task yes. is to check in with the, the two you names. You can practice then. Yes. Exactly. Uh, it is one of our audience favorites, got really good reviews. And if you want to learn how to play the tune, the sheet music is available in a collection that is being released to fundraise for the festival. And this collection of music is generously donated by the uh, presenters and guests of the festival. And there is something for everyone, ranging from lever heart pieces to pedal um, ensemble. There are pieces that is going to be used in the workshop in the festival, as well as pieces that uh, the only available in certain collections, such as Josh Lang's Forgotten Summer, which is from his five solo for lever heart book. All the proceeds from the sale of this book is going to go towards Hotfest New Zealand 2023, which you also don't want to miss. So I'm going to put the link mm -hmm. to this music book, as well as a link to subscribe to the newsletter so that you will get notified when the early bird tickets go on sale. And I am very much looking forward to attending my very first in-person Half Festival in New Zealand come February 2023. So to know more information about the upcoming news in the Harpfest New Zealand 2023, you can visit the webpage harpfestnz.com. Yes, the website is going to have some frequently asked questions and there will be more information about the program as it becomes available when we get closer to the early bird ticket sales date. It was nice talking to you, Javier. I hope you're going to have a wonderful time in the festival, um, playing the harp with Raf, uh, Giano, Nadia, and all the other guests and participants in there. Yeah, thank you, Victoria. I'm looking forward to, to enjoy it and have a nice day as well. You too. Chat again bye. later. Bye. bye.